Hello and welcome to this short video from Scatterwork about using games to build your virtual team. Virtual teams need defined operating agreements, they need to implement rituals and they need to share planning. Now operating agreements, ground rules, whatever you like to call them, are essential so that people operate in more or less the same way. For example, somebody may have made strenuous effort to get to a meeting on time and maybe they had to put a baby to bed or change a flight. So not sticking to the agreed time can have big consequences, so it's better to have rules. Rituals help the momentum when systems fail. So for example, when a call is held at the same time every day, but the link drops out, because it's a ritual, the party spends several minutes trying to re-establish contact. If it wasn't a ritual, they would just go offline and the work wouldn't get done. And then sharing the planning, uh, engagement is lacking if planning is simply imposed, but that's much more true in a virtual environment. For example, how work is done can be very local, so telling people what to do is not always the best way to do it. But when it's completed, it's shared with the whole team, and that's an issue for the team as a whole. So the question is, where is the glue that holds the team of people together? And the suggestion is that games can be used to help build a virtual team. Think of the games that people play at parties to speed up the process of getting to know everybody. And these days there are a lot of shared applications so that several people can log in at once and use them and they're great tools for games. So here's one. Your virtual team needs to introduce its members to other. Think Facebook terms. So put the members in groups of three. And by having them in separate groups, then you'll get more ideas than if you put them all in one team. Then tell them within each team to connect with each other by text or voice. And then how to find, find out how to connect with Google Slides or some other application where several people can join in at the same time. And then develop a page to introduce they're the people in the team. And then afterwards, bring all the teams back together and hold a competition to select the best page. Now, this is very useful because even the fact of producing a page together with photos and text generates interaction. And the interaction notice cannot even start without real-time communication. And the team learns how to access a cooperative working space, which can be used for other things. So if you find this interesting, remember that Scatterwork supports project solutions for virtual teams and the contact details are on this page. Thanks very much.